Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Tuesday, May the 23rd, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Maccabee Tarot Card. So we have 23, 23 in the sky, you know, adds up to five, change of transformation. But, you know, this whole year has been about enlightenment. I love the fact that we start off with the Divine, which is the Priestess. And I feel like we're going through this cycle. We just had the new moon in Taurus. Uh, Jupiter has entered into this. So maybe you do feel drawn to do like a salt and cinnamon ceremony. Maybe you've been drawn to do manifestations. Like whatever you're pulled to, maybe you're not feeling to pull to do anything. Maybe you're like myself and you're under the weather. And you're just like, oh my gosh. Manifest good dreams. Manifest good sleep, you know? So it just depends where you are and what you're going through in life. And, you know, if nothing resonates with you, it's totally fine. You know, it's just people are drawn to different things. You know, it doesn't have to, doesn't all have to, you know, sync with you all at the same time. Just like this reading. Take what manifests with you. Whatever it doesn't, just leave it. It's for, meant for someone else. You know, not every message is meant for us. It's the it's divine teaching for all. We go over to the Ace of Cups. For me, the Ace of Cups is like your cup is about to run it over. I love the fact that it's gold. You know what I mean? But it's going to be like also like our intuition. You know, we always talk about that gold color. You know, we got the sun a lot. You know what I mean? So it could be like the sun filling our cup where it's just like that healing, vibrant energy. <clears throat> we go to the lovers. We just entered Gemini season. So it could be like that twin energy where it's just like, I feel like reconnecting with your people, reconnecting with your person. For me, it's like my kids. I feel like they're twins in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? With not being twins, it's just like they can just feel each other's energy. They know. They're just more, like, aware, which I love. Like, you know what I mean? Because when you're more aware of your surroundings and the people in it, it's like you you know how to be more sensitive, or you know what I mean, to, to it and be there for people. Ten of Cups. I love the fact that it's just, again, concentrating on all the beauty and light around you. Everything that you have, your friends, your loved ones, your family members, your coworkers. You know, it's like never overlook that relationship, how special it truly is. I say that because that snake around it. And, I, you know, snakes are not always seen as, like, my girlfriend, Courtney, she has tons and tons of reptilians and snakes and, you know, geckos and all the, you know, like, I swear it's like she has a miniature zoo. But, it, you know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be seen that way. You know what I mean? It could be what holds that one thing that holds everything together, you know? Nine of Cups are telling good about self-love, you know? Don't forget about yourself. And, it, and it's in a sense of where it's just, like, fill up your own cup, you know? Sit there like myself, like I couldn't sleep instead of tossing and turning, and you know, disturbing others. It's like, you know, why don't I get up, you know, be productive. And then I can, you know, now I'm feeling, you know, ready to fall asleep again. So it's just like, you know, it's because of this cold. I know it is. But it's just like, you know, what can you do? Just ride it out and do, you know, recalibrate until you're through it. So starting off with the divine. Previously, the high priestess. Divine knowledge, tapping into the collective, conscious. The divine is the quiet voice in the back of your head, mind that does uh, says, don't go there, it's dangerous. It's the whisper of the night that reminds you to check your, your locks and avoid running down dark alleys. It's your connection to the divine knowledge, the, the collective unconscious. Trust your intuition, it's telling you something you may be unwilling to understand. I feel like for myself... Right now, I get that too. Like, you know what I mean? But it's not like messages that are, uh, you know, in a positive form, I guess you would say. You know what I mean? So I'm like, is this like fever, like dreams? Is this fever messages? You know, they're more on the darker side. And I'm just like, eh, I'd rather not have these messages at all. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather just sleep. So Ace of Cups. New feelings, passionate beginnings. A beautiful, abundant beginning is on the horizon. A fresh perspective needs to be nurtured so it can bloom. Rather than being held down by the weight of a, an old, broken heart, it's it uh, be open to new love. Your heart is driving you, so listen and follow its lead. So they were saying, like, you know, when I was reading from this, they were like, um, you have to acknowledge what their needs and desires are as well. Because it's just like they're highlighting myself where I work a lot. So in this case, maybe they don't work as much as you do. You know what I mean? And it's just like they expect certain things. So it's like having that conversation. Well, this is my life. This is what I like not rushing into it. 
You know what I mean? Getting to know each other on a deeper level, you know, taking the time and that a relationship deserves. Some people thrive on the little lady being at home and waiting on the hand and foot, but not everybody wants to be that little lady. You know what I mean? So it's just like having those conversations so that everybody's satisfied. Choice duality. The lovers are two sides of a coin, equal weighed out with, uh, but widely different. You're at a crossroads. One fork leads to the fog and the other to the woods. Which risk is worth taking? Can be answered lightly. Take your time and carefully weigh the risk and danger of both choices as each is going to lead to a vastly desperate outcome. You know, I feel like it's just like weighing out the odds of what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward, you know? Don't let the choices... I feel like you can take your time with this. This is not something that's like... You know, do it now and, you know what I mean? Don't let anyone put that kind of pressure on you, you know? I feel like you got to make a choice. Not everyone's going to agree with it, what's, what's best for you, you know? Just because someone else volunteers their time to do something does not mean you have to follow suit. We have the Ten of Cups as well as the Nine of Cups that we got this yesterday. With the Ten of Cups, fulfillment, happiness, endings. We're getting a lot of endings. You're standing at the hand in hand with uh, the people you love most. The sky is clear and br uh, bright above you, and the sun is warming your face. You made it through so much, and now you can bask in your happily ever after. Take time to appreciate what you have. Hold your loved ones a little extra tightly and enjoy the warmth of your, your achievements. Nothing lasts, but this moment is worth stretching out as long as you can. You know, when, we, when I get together with my sister and her family, it's just like, you know, I love those moments. You know, I wish there was more of them, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, you know, there was a lot of change and transformation happening around us. You know what I mean? It's like, what can you do? You know, you got to just go with the flow sometimes. So, Nine of Cups, luxury, earthly joy. You worked hard and loved hard. I loved harder. You labored, and enjoy, um, labored mightily to create a good life for yourself and those around you. And now it's time to enjoy its benefits. Take for a, a moment to indulge yourself. Or pursue something that you believe will truly make you happy. You deserve it. So it could be this relationship. Maybe this relationship would truly make you happy. But, you know, it's like, you know, like I said, like they may want someone that will weigh on them hand and foot, you know. And maybe you're not that person, you know. Maybe you've already done that. Maybe you've been in my shoes where it's just like, you know, now you're building, rebuilding your life and it's just like, you know. Keeping yourself busy is what makes you happy. Maybe being, quote unquote, the little woman or, you know, the, the house person is not what appeals to you anymore. You know, it's just like you want your own identity. You want to, you know, do your things on your, you know. So this is where they were saying communication is going to be key here where you both want the same thing. You know, I don't feel like you should have to change who you are and what you do. Just to appease to a relationship. You know what I mean? I feel like if, you know, the right situation comes about, it will just not, it will just fit. I'm not saying that there's not room for compromise. But it's like, you know, every, both parties, not just them, you as well have to understand. It's give and take, you know? This is what I want to achieve. This is what I want to do. And they say they're what they want. And go from there and move forward in that way, you know? Hopefully you moved forward together. You know, continue continue in the relationship, but it's like not everybody just wants to sit at home and wait for you know the the person to come home and bring the bacon so they can cook it up and serve it. You know, and wait on them hand and foot. You know, that's what I'm saying. Conversations need to be had. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Tuesday, May the twenty third, twenty twenty three. May the universe bless you. Good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.